The second lady is in Ashanti region. Mm. All the things she has said about me, the party has not heard anything. She said she, they didn't mention your name. That's what they say. That's what they are saying. Mm. That's what they are saying. Yeah. Your so, name hasn't been mentioned in her comments. So. so Abuse your mouth, Kwa Babo Angana TV. So na yin 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 MPP four be yom flag bearer fourth November ebe yin na yin 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 se Samira Baomia a year second lady e wa Shanti region a wa campaign amani kuno na wa kikan simbiya amau for H S E ona boke ni Japan e huwa sem e na Samira Baomia e kano se unti e ya ebe ko na wa kuti e kaka na ona boke ni Japan ababa respondi a wa H S E ona de wati san sem ni ni na na nipa o yen interview busa se Samira Baomia e kasa no o amau ono ona boke ni Japan e di ona boke ni Japan a respondi ebe ko na ya kwa kuti e no kanya H S E delegate emwa na uinia o di ora alankash ebe ba back especially alankash supporters no o amau ono ona boke ni Japan na ontimi enwini owini a odi alankaj beba back na wakan ya echre se amesoali amamfo bi echre se izongofu ebuofu ono na bu kan ya pompa because amesoali ewo no hunti ni nyina so so aka ho asem eni kan enkoti sa mira ensem na wakan se wo hu ya enkoti kakra emra eba ni atoa so na omo a enam a omo so omo de eya o eni ebufu e campaign Ibu mesti hanya ia ini yang buat posisi. Aman saya maya fasana. Nawa ope ubi. Osio, ya buat kasi ya. Ya ni saya mau, ya ni saya mau. Nama mimi sao. Oko posisi na ube ya mimi. Oko posisi na uwe menerima aku aku bisa ni mimi. Oko posisi na uwe di sini aku aku bisa ni mimi. Intepi ono dia wami. Mary Amin, my mommy, only how into a true quack on the over home to me. It's a lucky shop, and I guess a lucky shop. On my day, but the anchor say it was them. And so, I'm right here with me because there's a leader for every generation. Ano ni yako akuti na abano na ona boke ni Japan edin komo edin komo bebre yenko na yenko ti abra o kalan cash ame swali samira ba umia eni nsem bebra ekoso e o party ni muno yenko ni yenko ti enzuma. This great opportunity for me to appeal to the supporters of Alan to join Kenya Japan. If they vote for me, I'll be able to bring honourable Chairman back into the party. Mm. Now, let me explain it. Look, general election or this election, the primaries, you need 50% plus one, not 51% plus one. General election, you need 50 plus one. So, everybody is important. So, anybody who says that, oh, Alan Okwa Onko, oh, he can go, then it means the person is not a politician. Mm. Whether you like it or not, Alan appeals to the early Ashantis. Adam Alan appeals to the nation, the people who want quiet people like him, not like Kenya Japan. Okay? Some people say no, Kenya Japan is like Rollins. He's mm. too harsh. And even some even say that Trump. Yeah, Donald Trump. Trump. <laughs> right. And some people who do not like the Trump style or rolling style mm. will tell to Alan. So we have to be careful saying that, oh, he can leave. We don't care. If you say Alan can leave and you don't care, it means you are not a politician. So I'm appealing to all the Alan supporters that they should come on board. I'm promising them that I will be able to bring Honorable Chiramatin back. I've spoken to him, but not at length, pleading with him to stay calm for us to see the results of the November 4th. Mm. So, Alan, supporters, I know he has a lot of supporters here. And okay. to tell you the truth, if he had not resigned, I wouldn't have known his strength. Yeah. I wouldn't have known his strength. But when he resigned and I started meeting Alan supporters, I said, Ish, maybe he has made a mistake. Mm. 
<laughs> because the survey the system did showed that this primaries if Alan was part nobody was going to get 50 percent really yeah they've done it several times but they said the special delegate congress i mean congress was really something that demonstrated where the the winner is actually leading to and for that matter you even came second and alan came third yeah. which, which was described as most embarrassing for him my brother let me tell you what mm. went on let's see if it will go on like this again with the intimidation mm. especially in the five northern regions uh, ashanti region Volta region these seven regions the intimidation that went on and again you have given me opportunity to talk to the delegates well you know super delegates 945 or so mm -hmm. some executives got as much as or as high as hundred thousand ghana cities which is one billion old cities for tnt whatever they call it <laughs> some got navara pickups i have the pictures here mm. if they dare me i'll put it on social media for everybody to see i think yesterday you showed it in tolong good they took brand new pickups navara and navara like the mitsubishi pickup i brought to yana is forty thousand mm. dollars so forty thousand dollars multiplied by 11 is four hundred and forty thousand okay in ashanti region some got as high as 150,000 for just an individual with a single vote yes so i'm coming to that <laughs> then some of the chairman got toyota land cruiser prado so why wouldn't he win this time i am advising all delegates pulling station executives also to take at least hundred thousand if not don't vote for them because single vote, I can a Japan with loud mouth sitting here, I have one vote. The polling station executive has one vote. Your chairman has one vote. Everybody has one vote. We put it together and it's 208,000. No single individual has two votes. And therefore, if an individual takes 100,000, 150,000, Land Cruiser Prado, Navara pickup, why would they come to you and give you two thousand? And what they are saying is, okay, we are going to give you thousand first. When you go, take a picture of your vote and come for another thousand. It's a big insult, mm. and we are not going to allow anybody to take a phone there. Who sees your phone? That's what the showdown is going to come in. So, so this time around, the party is not going to decentralize the voting. Like no, what constituency by constituency. Mm. Yeah, we do it mm. because it's too big constituency by constituency but you already complain about the intimidation tactics your support base in the northern region or the five regions regions of the north you are based in accra right and how are you put, what efforts are you putting in place no, i will sure? not tell you <laughs> i'll give you my strategy <laughs> you, you would want to display another showdown i mean on that look me a man of peace oh. mm. but i always fight for my this rights a nice man but then it appears sometimes you easily you you get a very short fuse yeah because I don't like cheating. Mm. Anybody who tries to cheat me, I fight back. Mm. As simple as that. And let me tell you something. In Ghana here, they misconstrue confidence to be arrogant. Yeah. Because I have confidence telling you the problems in this region. People will come and say, oh, Kenny Japan, he's too known. Mm. Oh, Kenny Japan, he talks too much. Mm. They say that, they, they, they say, I mean, Kennedy Japan... He's not a diplomatic figure. He's not someone who is fit for the presidency because he's not diplomatic. And uh, you need to have a diplomatic well, character. Uh, diplomatic character. You have, are you telling me you've had diplomatic presidents throughout mm -hmm. and you are still poor? <laughs> Your pocket is empty. Diplomatic, mm -hmm. diplomatic. If the person is not diplomatic but can put money in your pocket, can put food on your table, which one do you prefer? The man who will be bold to tell you what is wrong is wrong. And the man who, oh, good to see you, good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. And your pocket is empty. And you go begging. Your children, your daughters will go and do kayayu. Which one do you prefer? My brother, so he's neither here nor there. We need a man who is straightforward. 
a man who can crack the whip. We are not going to beg anybody. We all have to make sure we are disciplined, we are honest, and we are patriotic and move this country. As simple as that. And this is what they term it as oh, somebody who is not diplomatic, then so be it. Because we have been diplomatic, 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 and we have all this vast land here, and we can't develop it. And you are telling me, uh, because of uh, we are poor, and uh, who says you are poor? You are very rich. So Now, now let, let's look at another angle, because if eventually you becomes the flag bearer of your party, it means that you are running against your main opposition, the NDC. Right. Now, they said you have said so many terrible things about your own party and selling them to the N NDC. The what, what terrible things? I, I, whatever you are saying, mm -hmm. are you saying that NDC, they are not Guineans and they are not feeling whatever I'm no, saying? No, but it appears your party and its leadership, they are massaging the issues. But yeah, you, uh, how do you, you, you just, see? You see, mm -hmm. you massage the issues, mm -hmm. but people have taken a decision that they know your massage and they are just waiting patiently for you on december 7th and they vote you out sometimes i come out boldly and if you listen to me carefully and change things around we have about 14 months or 15 months to go 14 months yeah, October 14, yeah. 14 months maybe within these 14 months whatever criticisms are level against my party if they listen to me carefully and make changes it might probably change the minds of the voters before December 2024. So they have to take it kindly and listen to, with all due respect to the nonsense Kenya Japan is saying, and say to themselves if it's valid, he has a valid point, is good or not. But if you rule me out completely and say that, oh, Kenya Japan, I know where you're coming from. When they say, I said, say, look, we have mounted a platform and said that oh when we are exchange when your exchange rate is what we uh, your fundamentals are weak mm -hmm. your exchange rate will expose, will expose you. you and today you also come the exchange rate is worse you are an imf right how would you go and defend it and are you saying that ndc people are not Guineans and they don't know what is going on and i'm the one who is inciting them please that is fallacy of argumentum ad hominem. Mm. <laughs> now, another, another portion is that I have heard someone on social media indicate that the Zongos are angry with you based on the issue that happens uh, with Ahmed Swali. You displayed oh. his photograph on social media My and, brother. and apparently allegedly got him killed. My brother, I have more Zongo supporters than any of the candidates, whether you are from here or not. Because I have always respected the Zongo people. I've given them help. That is why I'm called Sheikh Osman. Oh, okay. I've My not name is before. Oh, please. Then you are not a good Muslim. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, oh, I'm a Christian. Are ah, you a Christian? Yes, you are still I, I, not a good Northern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 this is the first time I'm yeah. hearing this. Sheikh Ashalbutu gave me the title. Sheikh Osman. Yeah, Sheikh Osman. Oh, okay. And I, I asked see. him why. He said in Islam, the only man who took care of his fellow Muslims mm. was called Osman. That is why he conferred the title of me. Oh, okay. He tells you the assistant, look, how can Zongo people be mad at me? It's propaganda. I'm a Swali. They know the killers. They themselves, you. They are, we are in government. Mm. You have the security and everybody. They've done their investigation. Why don't they bring her? If I show somebody's picture, does it mean that uh, you know Anas mm. reported me to America? Yes. A senator in Georgia. Uh, and we even had reports that you were picked up in America when you arrived. I picked who? Yeah, that the security in America picked you up. How? We had some of those reports. How? Mm. They picked me up for what? Because Anas, Anas had apparently reported you to Oh, me. it's not true. Mm. I was delayed as an airport for them to check everything. When oh, they okay. checked, there was nothing. When I even gave my green card up, I applied for the visa. This time, I go to America with visa. Why did they give me a visa if I'm a murderer? They've done the investigation and everything. The, 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 the congressman that Anas reported me to came here with Nancy Pelosi and frantically looking for me 
he asked the minister uh, environment a, a free dr free so he also to come and look for me i met him and this man told me he i have his card he said you know i've done my investigation i've realized you have the same problem as i have in america america they call me a madman because i speak the truth as it is this is the congressman who came here himself the one that anas reported me so i don't i'm not worried about whatever they are saying because i know i'm clean but for zongo people anybody who tells you that zongo people don't like me is a lie i monitored your interview uh, when you visited america recently where you mentioned the killer of ahmed swali yeah i mean why i mean are you being tagged with this and then you've been quiet and just only talk about the securities they are aware the securities are aware of i mean uh, everything that you are giving and nothing is happening and your name keep coming down. yes i'm worried about it because that is why i'm annoyed because mpp they know the truth but they always want to sacrifice canada japan i won't do it again hmm. i won't do it again you are sitting here asking me this question they have done their investigation they know or even if they don't know they should bring the outcome for Ghanaians to know mm. where is the outcome why have they been quiet are they saying to Ghanaians that I'm a Swale when he was killed the police didn't do any investigation the security didn't do any investigation if they did let us know the outcome if it is Kenya Japan it's as simple as that it's as simple as that my brother but you see MPP they always want to use you and dump you. Hmm. I will not allow them to dump me anymore. I won't do it. I will not sacrifice for MPP, for my children, my family, generation to be humiliated. But I'm just, I'm, uh, we are picking signals that you are just on your way to being dumped because some of them believe that you are losing these elections hands down. But and that will be your, look, your political uh, career. Let me tell you, without me, MPP can win election. You don't mean it. I'm telling you. You know how many people are begging me you know the money that they've offered me and I've refused? For what? Offered me to step down. And if I step down, we'll lose. So no. The sacrifices the party people have made, I cannot selfishly take that amount of money and leave them to their fate. No. So whoever is telling you, my brother, mm. it is not... They can, how can MPP dump me? Mm. If they dump me, they'll go to opposition. Mm. Okay, now because mm. look, we all need each other. If I win, I still need a vice president. I need other contestants. That is why I don't want to rubbish vice president, but his people always play dirty games and all those things. And I always talk to him. If you don't know, I'm telling you today. Mm. I would always talk to him through Samia Uku. He will call and I'll speak to him. This didn't go well. This is a you see, if uh, yeah, I will fight back. Mm. All these things go because I need him. Okay. And he himself admits that he needs Kenya Japan. I want us to get back to your policies and then uh, the, the things, especially so far as the northern region is concerned. Ever since you got in here, especially there was a, a, this there was this report. I don't know whether you cited it when you visited the Yana's palace. Mm. Uh, we told that the Yana was not really happy with you. But later, I think this morning, the secretary of the Yana just sent me a press release. Uh, to indicate that the Yana never said any of those things. When you heard it, how, how what was the feeling in you? No, I just laughed. Mm. I said, because I know what happened over there. Yana didn't say that. But my brother, let me advise the media. Mm -hmm. Look, whatever you are doing, Ghana, it is not soldiers. It is not politicians. Any civil war that will happen in Ghana here will come from media. Listen to me. Look at me carefully. Eyeball to eyeball. My brother, your reportage will bring war to this country. Let me give you an example. If you don't know, go and read about Rwanda. It was one false reportage that a media man put out there. Within 48 hours, 800,000 people died in Rwanda. You guys have to be very careful the way you report a you see if he likes a candidate i don't have a problem that's democracy you have a choice a radio station you tell to a candidate no problem 
but speak the truth. Now that Yana Palace has issued a disclaimer or whatever, what is the reputation of that radio station? It's gone down. Mm. People will not take you serious again. Yana never said anything like that. But they put it out instead of praising Kenya Japan. You have over 20 MPC plus vice president. Nobody has gone to Yana to give him a pickup. I come from the south to give him a pickup and you go and disgrace me. Mm. And look, me delegates, listen to me. I'm a pace setter. Whatever I do, they follow. I know next uh, this Sunday now they want to go to Yana. So all this time, if Kenya Japan had not visited Yana, wouldn't they have gone there? I'm a pace setter. So they should stop peddling false allegations, lies. It will help this country. But you know, I just love the very one I read as oh please. It's one of those that uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm politically matured, 35 years experience. This also indicates that I don't react easily. When I'm coming out, it means it has gone on for several days or months. Then one day I just react. All these things that are happening, whatever they are saying, nobody is saying anything. Party, the party has very, very un been unfair to me. I have meant not to respond. I'm just giving example. Of late, the second lady is in Ashanti region. Mm. All the things she has said about me, the party has not heard anything. She says she, they didn't mention your name. That's what they say. That's what they are saying. Mm. That's what they are saying. Yeah. Your so, name wasn't been mentioned in her comments. So, so can I also go there and say what I know without mentioning it? That one, they will know whom the person is referring to. Kenya Japan is referring to. That's unfairness. But I've decided not to respond. I've decided not to respond. I'm only drawing your attention from this and that. You know, all these things are going on. I don't say anything. But one, if Kenya Japan responds, hey, then MPP. But I leave it to their fate. Mm. I was allowed eight can gonna for a cofa a drone was will be up by a friend Gallimas herbal capsules and a dray you didn't remember come up with 14 and at the eye now one more to my 80 a dose of power you know did you have to won't be pan say and my own funeral just when you cry you know you anti-aging component room in the amount when you need sir sounds so and a sound so echo and then we are there and then we are just a suffer is going to yeah Prostrate enlargement, prostrate disorders, and a face sexual weakness. Nina, a ya dia otan num a ya galimans eba capsus ya ebi ye fru a dia mount. De du obium so a mo fan to aswo and no a ye galimas ontiment. Ya and no no ubiya u drevi an oke cano na o dia fe e tiniho and a face so unam nye kuchiri kuchiri emma unya ho twa me pachao and also a be ye fru ma hunam na fe 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 and no dan chensua sachem fu yareba na ye wo ana a de bia a de u tri hunya de but your government's ultimate every year for her, Nina Free, a Lion Eight Clinic Ghana. Or say, a pum day one semi home ye, Tia Yadibi Tosne Hawa, the patch of America Morton, a call Lion Eight Clinic Ghana. Numbers in the good screen, no, but more than a Lion Eight Clinic Ghana was your number one health expert.